good evening i had recently shared a video on the nrp changes and uh, i saw professor satyan's uh, pictorial representation of these changes uh, most of you would have come across professor satyan's uh, pictorial uh, representations of various concepts in neonatology so he has this unique style of uh, giving the information in a simplified manner so for those of us who are visual learners it's a very uh, useful tool and obviously uh, if you print this and uh, keep it with you it uh, works as a ready reckoner so uh, just a quick uh, review of uh, how he has put this uh, overview of the nrp 9th edition practice changes so it's easier to start from this section which is related to the umbilical cord management so uh, delayed cord clamping the previous recommendation was 30 to 60 seconds and it has been revised to at least 60 seconds which is in line with what the who and other bodies suggest and it should really be that way uh, because 30 seconds may not be adequate uh, iucm some of you had asked what it stands for so it's uh, intact umbilical cord milking so there is a clear message obviously from dr anup uh, kataria's uh, study that uh, less than 28 weeks some um, intact umbilical cord milking is not recommended and uh, for non vigorous infants where delayed cord clamping is not an option you can do the umbilical cord milking at 35 to 42 weeks in the babies between the 28 to 34 weeks margin there is not enough evidence to recommend intact cord milking so uh, this is related to the cord management which is the first step in the algorithm and in terms of uh, the other change in the algorithm we have the target oxygen saturation table starting at two minutes instead of one minute which is really a pragmatic change because very rare that we have the uh, one minute uh, saturation uh, kind of the probe connected by that time so uh, the other aspect of the algorithm is the question related to suctioning so we have dry position and gentle tactile stimulation if the breathing is ineffective so it's important the word gentle is used here and clear airway if needed so instead of using the word suction we are using clear airway if needed so the point the stress is on use suction only if needed so many of us are in the habit of routinely suctioning uh, you don't really need to suck out and just turning the baby to the side most of the time brings out the even the frothing secretions and remember frothing at the mouth is not necessarily a need for suctioning because it doesn't indicate obstruction it's just the baby's own effort to clear the secretions uh, 